Let's do a video of this before. It's another one of those things I acquire. It sits around and it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. Cosmetic shape. So this is a Pioneer DVL 909 CD. LD. CD. Or DVD. LD. CD. Video. CD. What? Laser disc and DVD. DVD comes out over here, laser disc draw comes out the whole thing. Had it for quite some time, I'm trying to sell it for quite some time, getting jerked around for quite some time. It was under my bed and it got scratched. And then just touch it up. So that's unfortunate. The top of the case is actually in good shape, besides like a couple little scratches like this, and like that, and like over here, and a couple little nicks in that. But this thing really got it decent cosmetically. Ran over by my bed. Uh, I did not have a remote for it, so I had to buy a remote. This was about nine dollars and so. So I at least have to get that back. Uh, this was that's the number for the remote. It's not the identical for a DVD player, but it works for it because the original remotes are almost impossible to find. And um, it will not work without a remote. Well, unfortunately, I'm trying to get this. There we go. You need like these buttons over here. So without the remote, you are dead in the water with this thing. And luckily, that remote does work. Simple two cord connection as all your AV things. It's from January of 1998. That's your power supply. I had this all apart too, just to make sure it was clean inside, and it was. I had another video, but that was going back some years. I may still have the clips, I may not. I really don't know. It's from earlier this year, I believe. At least from February. But yeah, that's really unfortunate that happened. That's anodized aluminum. So cosmetically, it kind of looks mad now, but it does function. Um, I need a TV to plug it in, which I may or may or may, or may not show. I will, if um, I actually have a buyer, I'll set it up. If they are actually showing or not, I do not know. Because I have not heard from them in days. I just told them that, oh yeah, I got it out. And uh, yeah, it's scratched now. And I didn't think it was. That's unfortunate. But yeah, this looks poopy now from far away. But it does still work. DVL 909. It goes on eBay for anywhere from about 200 to 400 dollars. Um, uh, I want 250 for it, even with uh, scratches now, because the prices just keep on going up and 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 up. Had it in a bag too, and it still happened. That was weird. Look, dog hair gets all on and already. You know, you can't have anything nice here. But that's the deal. Fortunately, it got cosmetically scratched, but it'll look fine in some sort of case you won't even notice yeah awesome I don't even know if it plays laser disc it might it plays DVD so I did test it with that I don't have any laser disc so obviously I can't test it there's clean inside though laser and everything so uh, yeah let's go power it on it made dents too oh, it doesn't look so bad from far away Power on. Power it on, I think it was. Then we'll power it on to get the red light on. This was. Open. It's so slow. See the whole tray opens for the laser disc and then for the DVD was it I don't know it was a different one that opened up I think only a little tray opened up DVD CD oh the CD there we go right there that part opened up oh it's cool it was like a two part draw yep lights up blue no disc, of course. Yeah, pretty neat thing. I don't need it. I scratch it up. Now I'm even more mad about it. Nobody gives me my money for it. I'm just going to keep it.
and uh, maybe even list it higher even with damage because um, it's just a really 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 rare piece it's kind of like a uh, VHS player I'm looking around I could have swore a dog ruined the video again oh yeah someone will probably want to know what number remote that was that works on this unit there already go CU DVD 22 Pioneer there's no other markings on it just that's it two AA batteries yes yeah, so you just google it what remote works on unit and uh, a couple of these things come up as long as they usually have the one two three four they all work plug and play and that's literally where I may have found this or where it was going to go see that what's that unbelievable yeah I'm kind of bummed I scratched that but you know it doesn't look too bad of touch up paint you know you melt that in the cabinet anyway over there you really don't see it but yeah that got a good over there and there it was a kind of banged up unit as is but um I don't know if it plays laser discs I really don't I'm gonna test it later with this when I do comes when I sell it had this all off again I had a video of this I'm looking for it on my computer and I'm not taking it off right now, it's a pain in the ass. But it was clean underneath there. Someone told me to check that. And it was actually a DVD dislodged underneath there. I guess it was tipped on its side when it was um, being moved around. So, it's glad I took it apart and got the DVD out of there. Had to buy a remote, like I said. Where is it? The, the CU DVD 22. It's a couple of um, universal remotes, I believe, work on this too. I gotta fix my power washer. And hopefully, they do come. That's a Blu ray disc. I can't test it with that. Yeah, CD is a cool unit. You know, I would, I would keep it, but you know, at this time, you know, things get. As you see, everything I own gets wrecked here to vehicles, to stuff, to, you know, crashing into stuff. This it gets destroyed. I guess it's true and one day there's probably a place to be a little on fire or something, you know, I don't know. Flood. Can't have nice things. Radiator support wrecked. You know, everything. So that's the deal. It's another vintage piece that I've came across. And who knows if I'll ever come across another one. I say this is like ahead of its time though at the audio and everything I don't know I'm not a whole movie guy I really don't watch movies anymore I just don't care yeah and this will really not work see the disc side A and B it's not in the remote you have to manually get up and do it if it's two sided but uh, the rest functions yeah. I wouldn't even trust plugging it in around here too and leaving it plugged in it stays powered standby power and all the uh, power outages here will probably blow our capacitor in on it. Another thing will get ruined. Alright. Hollow bricks. Falling into the ground. I gotta fix the pressure washer and make another video. Yeah, I could have swore I had a video of taking that all apart. That was a uh, hacky man or Brendan or something. He said something like that like months ago. Take it apart. I don't know where that kid is. I think he's having health issues again, which is unfortunate. Hope they're okay. But, um, yeah. Interesting car box over there. They can repaint this whole thing too. It comes off. Black rose of paint. You can make that nice again. This, that. You power it on. So it's like Pioneer. It's pretty cool. It has a little menu, and you gotta go down with the arrow keys to make it work. I would show you, but I just don't feel like hooking it up right now. It's freaking hot out. 